his mother is dead. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. You are God. Leader of the Banyar, once yes, but no longer. There's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. First, you need to cut off my head. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. We can do whatever we want. There are consequences to killing a god! Mother. Back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. No, 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 my boy! My dear sweet boy! It's Mother. Look, she was a giant. I'm a giant. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. The giants called me... Loki? A question for another day. Hungry? What's next? Oh. Storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? Mm. 
ready. Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is... quite sick, Atreus. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Hear that? Yes. Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Ah! Not again. Get ready. Falcon! <laughs> Up that easy, would she? She never does. Stay alert. There she is. Look, uh, uh, mother. Uh, 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 got you. Uh, we gotta get away from her. I'm trying. Up there, what's she? Look out. Uh, Coming down. That was too close. She's coming around again. Uh, uh, I do not uh, wish to fight you. Uh, I'm uh, losing my grip here. Uh, 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 oh, father! I have you. Uh, Hold tight. Protection slave is near. Oh no! Wait, we're not your enemy! Get away! Ah! Dave, we made it. Let us go home. It's Becky, it's Vana. Up. <gasps> I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. I think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. Well 
we'll get the deal. Go on, girls. says hello. Betrayus. Ben Rear. You okay, boy? It's okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you, too. Where's your food? Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. What? Too big? <laughs> there you go. Good boy. Near. You must prepare yourself. For what? He's still eating. He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna, Afra, Esu, Sofna, Ethan, Sofna, Sofna, Sofna. No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Drinking is all we ever do, ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. We prepare 
for a fight for which we are not ready, we'll go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Look. Can I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him? Recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then. Kratos? Are you joining me? Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumpus. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We have a predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, don't! Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. 
As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. A problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. It cannot be far. Baldur's chasm is too unstable, brother. The lad wouldn't try it. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? He crawled through here. Troubles in your sleep, even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past, almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No, it feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No, but it is something more than memory. Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. And we're not alone.
raiders. They should not be this close. We should check on the protection, Steve. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Explains our trespassers. What happened here? A bear. Mauled. By what? A larger bear. Wounded. The fight destroyed the tree. We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Trails on the other side of that gap, if you can clear the way. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the Giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions... I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. <laughs> and what do you believe about prophecy, Mimir? I'm skeptical by nature, though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I've no bloody idea. that trail gone. Handle himself. You 
You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. we can find a quiet way in. Or you can do that. Are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. Then. There will be more. Someone got in the bear's way. That one's got a sling. Look out, brother! for the best. Let's find a way out. The trail leads back out. We need our own way up to find it again. Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter, kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. 
You know the lad. Atreus, where are you?
parade Fenrir. And then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad. And then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. I, I, I didn't know I could do that. You did not do anything. They overcame you. That is why we must not abandon your training. We do not know the reach of your abilities. And they will be dangerous without discipline to control them. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. That's as only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. I might have killed you. Control. We will take no unnecessary risks. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! Discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah. Are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. Besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Ah! Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. Seen my share. <laughs> where we are now. Nisa.
What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better. Consequences. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. I must have been inside the stave when I fixed it. Sometimes I really wish Tyr's temple still worked so we could get out of Midgard. They say Fimblewinter affects all realms, lad. Okay, but how could things be any worse than here? Hey, Svana. You're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave girl. That's right. He's good with them. No surprise, really. Specky. You okay? Just a little thunder. That's a good girl. Good girl.
Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Well, I admit it was a bit like old times there. For a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. The ball. Come in. I have me. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about. You could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. <laughs> you seem like a calm and reasonable person. Say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah.
You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. You're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you? Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah, we know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word of you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day. About uh, time. I've been waiting for this. You're not from here. We got a tradition called a blood payments. It means I get a piece of you for what you took from my family. You'll pick it up. That was for Boulder. Now show me this god killer I've heard so much about. I did not seek that fight with your brother. I don't care. Can't fight without your axe, coward! How were you ever a god of war? You're fucking hopeless! You spit on my son's memory! I can't believe they lost to you! 
Uh, you know my past. And ghosts uh, of Sparta thing. Yeah. Then you know uh, what I'm capable of. Show me! Uh, 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 now we got us a fight! Was hoping to see your blade. Guess they don't come when you fall. You insult me holding back like this. Let me see the monster inside. Remember your old moves. Stop holding back! Preachy old skin. If you're not fighting dirty, you're not fighting. Good. No way, my boy, fell to this. Show me who you are. Afraid to get your hands dirty? This is the god that murdered a pantheon because they hurt his feelings. Now we're talking! 
Consider your blood debt paid. Be seeing you. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we? Oh, now. Odin is with Atreus. Oh no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on then. Ain't a long walk. Well, good to see you making new friends. 
Ain't that the old near pack of punts? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold her own. Kind of the point, after. This will get you home. Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection stays busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, fellow. I will not abandon my home. Oh yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Or raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To uh, pay for the roof. And he invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tyr? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth. From me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but... Now that you know... There's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. I think I know how. Sir. Zoe. Gather your things. How's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. See? I knew you wanted a snack. Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry.
Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew more. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your bean, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? Oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This much Bunger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds... unique. Svartalfheim? Huh. Stupid Aesir name. We look like Dark Elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Nidavellir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. You hear that? Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light. In your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a sodding bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh. That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release. Still unpleasant. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Frostfolk of eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... <gasps> there! That should do it! <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Case you takes a joke, you old goat! <laughs> Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. 
I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. E everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Why do you think so fast? Behind you, brother! already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here, against Odin, and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. I never asked Mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. 
Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water'd be frozen in the second. Brother, do you think the freezing it would work? No! No! Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the Rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. Off your back! 